Hi guys, I'm Nikhil Chavla from the Unbiased Blog and I'm back with another video. And this video is about a smartphone that could very well be the smartphone of the year 2020. Now unlike most of the smartphone makers, Motorola has always been courageous, always been different and trying something new. The world's first mobile phone makers have been the trailblazers of the industry. They've led from the front entire generations of mobile phone and smartphone users, be it the world's first mobile phone, the Dynatec, the iconic Moto Razr phones of earlier era, or the Moto X, the first customizable smartphone to the modular Moto Z smartphone. And even the latest Moto Razr reincarnation to start the year with a bang. And they've done it again in 2020 with the latest Motorola Edge Plus smartphone. Yes, conceptualized in the design headquarters at Chicago, USA, the company has created a smartphone that has the world's first 90 degree curved endless edge display with 90 hertz refresh rate, fastest processor and data speed, largest camera sensor available in the market, loudest audio, biggest battery capacity on a flagship device, 3.5 mm audio jack, hallelujah, wireless charging with reverse wireless charging and so much more. The Moto Edge Plus is a cutting edge smartphone, no pun intended. Now today we'll be comparing two one of the biggest smartphone makers in India, Motro and Samsung. Now, both these companies make great phones, great services, they offer great products, they make the component is really good. But things change when we bring India into perspective. Now what Samsung really does is a very imprudent thing. Now what they do is replace the Qualcomm processor in India for cost cutting with their own homegrown Exynos processor. Now it may be a great thing for the company but for consumer they always want that Qualcomm processor and feel at par with the consumers in global markets. But that's not the case in India. Now I've been using the Motorola Edge Plus device for two weeks now. So let's find out if it's worthy to be the smartphone of the year 2020. So first let's check what comes in the box. You get a Motorola Edge Plus smartphone, turbo power charger, USB Type-C cable, guides, SIM tool, silicon case and earphones. Now let's talk about the design of the Motorola Edge Plus smartphone. The Motorola Edge Plus is unlike any smartphone Motorola has ever designed. And you know Motorola has launched some of the most epic phones so this one is very special. The Edge Plus has a 6.7 inches OLED display sandwiched in between very thin precisely cut metal frame. The Motorola Edge Plus looks pretty and feels solid but not too heavy in the palm. The corrugated power lock key keeps you from accidentally pressing it in place of the volume rockers without looking and overall the Motorola Edge Plus design is very ergonomic. Who am I to judge when the prestigious Red Dot Design Award has already been awarded to the Motorola Edge Plus for its outstanding design? Now Samsung is known for its displays and to beat the champ in its own game, Motorola had to think out of the box. And this is exactly what they did with the endless edge display on Edge Plus. Motorola's flagship smartphone comes with world's first curved display with a 90Hz refresh rate. The 6.7 inches OLED panel curves 90 degrees on both sides giving the most immersive experience on a handheld device. Even with such huge displays, the Edge Plus is a charm to hold and use with single hands thanks to the 21 to 9 tall display. The display on the Edge Plus comes with a massive 93% screen to body ratio. They say it's all about the experience and that's why software matters a lot. You can ruin a great hardware with terrible software. Now Motorola trumps in this department too thanks to its clean, ad-free, bloatware-free Android experience. In fact, Motorola just enhances the stock Android experience with the trusted and loved Moto Actions. Another addition this time is the game time feature that cuts all distractions and uses the edge of the display to give you virtual buttons on top to ace in any game you play. Be it Oswald or PUBG, you'll feel the difference and most likely win them with ease. On the other hand, even though Samsung U has improved leaps and bounds with the latest One UI, it has a lot of Samsung bloatware. Don't forget Samsung devices are trolled for getting slow within months of use. Motorola Edge Plus is more likely to stay faster over the years and get timely OS updates and upgrades. What you post from your phone on social media is how people judge you nowadays. My point being that smartphone photography and videography is a serious thing and you can't undermine it. 
The Motorola Edge Plus comes with a quad sensor rear camera setup of 108 megapixel plus 8 megapixel plus 16 megapixel plus 3D TOF with dual OS developed by Sweden based Diamond Image Intelligence. While Samsung has a bigger telescopic zoom lens, but Motorola Edge Plus has a bigger, wider ultra lens at 16 megapixel, and in most scenarios, you would end up using the ultra wide lens more than the zoom lens, making Edge Plus a more versatile camera setup. So this is the rear camera sample of the Moto H Plus and you can see the stabilization it's on right now and uh, I'm walking right now but you can see how stable is the video right now. So this is again the Moto H Plus but the stabilization is off now and you can see the difference we will play this out side by side so that you can see the difference and uh, stabilization definitely makes a lot of difference to the camera sample. Moving to selfies, the S20 Ultra gets a 40 megapixel selfie camera, but H Plus is not far behind with this 25 megapixel selfie camera with night mode. Hi guys, this is a front camera sample of the Moto H Plus, and you can see the stability and you can see the color richness and the saturation of the camera. Now let's talk about the performance of these smartphones. Even though it's as simple as binary, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 is way superior than Exynos 990 SoC. It is important to bring to your attention that Edge Plus is a future-proof smartphone for the next few years as it comes with 5G connectivity, while the S20 Ultra gets only 4G LTE on the Exynos 990 SoC. Well, that is not all. The Edge Plus gets 12GB of DDR5 RAM and 256GB of ROM with TurboWrite UFS 3.0 storage. Now that is double the storage capacity than the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Yes, definitely, the 865 is great for gaming, but the edge triggers on the phone really helps enhance the gaming experience. To sum it up, Edge Plus offers faster processing speed, better connectivity and double the memory, making Edge Plus lead the performance and throwing Samsung flagship smartphone out of the picture. Now let's talk about some extra features or enhancement that make your smartphone experience better on day-to-day -day tasks. If the above mentioned features haven't got you convinced that the Motorola Edge Plus is a much superior device at a much lesser price, then here are some of the more reasons to totally rule over it. Motorola is the only smartphone maker to have the courage to give a flagship smartphone with a 3.5mm audio jack. But even if you aren't using your headphones, you still get studio level speakers thanks to technical Grammy award winning audio technology from Waves. In fact, give it a listen and you would feel the sound is as impressive and impressive as its curved display. I can vouch for a complete immersive experience while you're watching content or gaming on this smartphone. Now what if I told you that you can buy the Motorola Edge Plus smartphone almost 30,000 cheaper than the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra? Yes, you heard it right, you can grab India's most powerful premium flagship smartphone for INR 67,499 if you buy it with an ICIC bank credit card. Now don't worry if you don't have an ICIC credit card, you can still grab it for 74,999 which is still 23,000 cheaper than the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra which is priced at 97,999 rupees. Unlike most companies that charge you extra in the name of dollar conversions, import duties and taxes, Motorola on the other hand is offering the Edge Plus even lesser than the $999 price that it sells for in the US. Now that's what we really call transparent pricing. So my recommendation is not to miss this opportunity to grab India's most powerful and premium Android flagship smartphone before it runs out of stock. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed watching the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching the unbiased blog and do not forget to turn on the notification so that you get to know whenever we publish our video. Also follow us on Twitter at Nikhil Chavla at the rate the unbiased blog. Thanks.